Now see alloys, right? So what are actually alloys? Alloys are homogeneous mixture of two or more metals. Now what do you mean by the term homogeneous? Homogeneous mixture, you know what is mixture? In which the two or more substances are simply mixed in any ratio, not chemically combined. You are well versed what actually the mixture is. And out of uh, that mixture, you know that it is divided into two categories, homogeneous and heterogeneous. When the components thoroughly mix with each other with the definite properties that uh, you can say uh, like from which other, uh, uh, from any uh, where we just pick, they have the definite properties and we cannot see the different phases. That means it is a homogeneous mixture. So, the example of homogeneous mixture is alloys, that is the homogeneous mixture of two or more metals. Now, question is that, that how these homogeneous mixture or how these alloys are made. So, what do we do? We just uh, take two or more metals according to the properties, like uh, uh, if we just need to, suppose we have an iron, right? We know, we know that iron is uh, prone to rusting, but when we just mix it with carbon and few more metals like nickel and all, so it just, uh, imp uh, the properties of iron gets improved, that means it uh, becomes the corrosion free. So, just to in order to improve the properties, in order to improve the luster or in, the, in order to improve any kind of property, we just uh, you can say uh, draw a metal into the alloy. So, what we do? We take those selected metals, we just heat them. What happens? They have low melting point, so they will just melt and after melting the all metals will just get mixed up, right? And on cooling they will just unite to form a single substance and that single substance is somehow called as alloy with improved properties right so we are, i have a list of few alloys uh, in front of you and which we'll be discussing that how the improved uh, properties are improved and for what use they are now being used to uh, like in a, like we just use it in which form so first alloy what i'm doing is brass right so brass is made up of it is mainly alloyed of copper in which the copper is mixed with zinc and what property like do we like after mixing the copper with zinc we call it brass and what uh, you can say uh, we can use it for which purpose it is used for making medals it is used for making decorative items and moreover many other things it is made up of uh, brass you know that second is bronze the alloy one of the more uh, the other alloy of copper is bronze in which we mix copper with tin sn is tin we mix copper with tin tin and uh, what uh, like with for what use we use it we use it for making coins we use it for making statues decorative items etc next the third alloy of copper or you can say the, the other uh, any other alloy is gun metal it is made up of copper zinc tin and lead right copper zinc tin and lead and what purpose it is solving we are just making weapons out of it how we are making weapons it is just used to make the uh, rifles or uh, rifles which are used in the weapons or the bearings which are used it is just made up of gun metal next is solder solder is an alloy of lead and tin solder which is used alloy of lead and tin it is used for making fuses that is the electrical fuse which we are using in the houses to prevent uh, the fire or you can say just to avoid the short circuiting and the overloading so it is just used in making the fuse Next is stainless steel, as you all are familiar with the stainless steel because the most uh, the uh, this thing, the items which we are using in the kitchen, that means the, the utensils which we are using are made up of mostly the stainless steel. So in which the iron is just mixed with carbon along with nickel and chromium, it just make the iron the corrosion free and that is why it is used in making utensils and moreover it is used in making automobile parts as well. So this is stainless steel. Next is duralium. See, duralium plays a very important part because it is one of the alloy of the aluminium in which the aluminium is mixed with magnesium, manganese, and copper. And it just uh, has the property that it, it is lightweight. And due to this property, it is used in making aircraft parts. So all aircraft parts are mainly made up of duralium, that is the alloy of aluminium. So here you can see that we cannot use the aluminium alone in making the uh, part of uh, the aircrafts but when it is mixed with the magnesium manganese and copper it property gets improved and see how improved that it is used in making the parts of the aeroplanes so this is how it is used next is magnesium again it is an alloy of aluminium mixed with magnesium it is used for making scientific instruments that the instrument which you are using in your physics lab chemistry lab so those instruments are just made up out made out of magnesium next we have alnico 
as the name suggests al nico al means aluminium ni means nickel co means cobalt so it is very easy to learn its constitu constituents that is al nico alu mixture of aluminium nickel and cobalt and it is used in making the magnets the magnets which you use in the lab or anywhere it is just made up of al nico next alloy we have is german silver German silver is made up of copper, zinc and nickel. Again, it is an alloy of copper. As we have alloy of copper, brass, bronze and gun metal, the fourth alloy of copper is German silver in which the copper is mixed with zinc and nickel. It is used in making again in making coins and jewellery. So see, two co copper alloys are used in making coins. One is the bronze and the other is the German silver. Next we have is the amalgam. What is the amalgam actually and uh, or have you ever seen the amalgam? You must not be familiar because you, you have seen but you don't know the name actually. You know that uh, when you eat the sweet substances you get cavities in your teeth right. So what happens you go to the dentist and dentist just fill that cavity with the white color substance. What is that white color substance? That is the amalgam that means the alloy of mercury which is usually uh, alloyed with zinc or sodium like metals and it is just used by the dentist for the filling purpose. That means it is used for the tooth filling in order to avoid the uh, this thing the attack of the microorganisms in your tooth right so these are the alloys and here you can see they are actually the homogeneous mixture because when you get to see these kind of alloys you do not get to see any different kind of phases they just thoroughly mix into each other and just result in the formation of homogeneous mixture and I think you got it that how they are formed they are just mixed they are heated they melt and after just uh, on cooling they just form a one solid mass that turns out to be alloy with improved properties so improved properties that you have just seen that to uh, see in how many fields they are just uh, serving a good use that they are used in almost the every fields and just making the so important uh, you can see the substances which we come across in a daily life so this is how uh, you can see that metals are so important though they are reactive but still they are uh, serving as many important functions like uh, we have aluminium you know that the foil which we are using in the kitchen is made up of aluminium right so we have likewise we have many metals which are just serving very important uses in our daily life and uh, one question which I would like to discuss uh, do you know what is pure form of gold so yes the pure 24 karat gold is a pure form of gold so the, you know that the, the ornaments which you are wearing is not actually the 24 karat because the pure form of gold is so soft that we cannot make jewelry out of it we need to alloy it with uh, certain metals in order to just make it hard so that we can just draw into the uh, set or into the bangle like shape or something like that so the, the usually the, that you the gold which you get in the uh, market is not uh, completely 24 karat because 24 karat is so soft cannot be used for making ornaments that is actually the 22 karat in which the 22 parts is a gold and two part is a you can say the any some metal which is just making it hard so this is how the alloys are uh, just uh, performing the different functions in the different field and you get to have many articles which you can use in your daily routine